Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. I say FNAF news video, we're really talking about two things in this video, FNAF AR and brand new information on voice actors for FNAF. But before we hop into all that though, I want to talk about a few quick things. Number one, the graphic novel for the Twisted Ones is out officially today, and yes, I will be getting it and doing a review on it this week. Number two, yes, I know about the FNAF X Fortnite possible collab uh, crossover event that may be happening and yes I again plan on talking about about that this week and number three I got new merchandise boys check it out the Johnny blocks wave get it because they're like little blocks yeah it's cool I'm really happy with the designs uh, of these I think they look simplistic yet very intriguing and for the first time ever boys we have a back design with Johnny blocks in a very iconic looking style right there. A few people have already found out my inspiration for this new wave of merchandise. Let's see if you can figure it out too. So if you want to support me, buying the merch is a great option. Or if you don't feel like spending your money, I get that. We are in some tough times still. Subscribing is the best way because it's free and smashing the like button. So let's finally hop into the news. So we're going to start off with some voice acting news when it comes to the FNAF franchise. I can't even say when it comes to Security Breach now because we don't know if these are all for Security breach and I'm going to talk about that in a quick second. First up we have news that Matthew Curtis aka the voice actor for Nightmare Balloon Boy and Music Man has been rehired. Scott left a review for Matthew on January the 28th of 2021 so fairly recent and what's interesting is that this role is for the disappointed boss we talked about in a past video. The disappointed boss is the same role that Conrad Silliman applied for so Maybe Scott decided he doesn't really like Solomon's work, I don't know, and he decided to go with Matthews instead, or we have two disappointed bosses. I don't know which option is correct, but in my mind, those are probably the two most likely options. We have two bosses, or Scott just changed his mind. So now let's talk about Springtrap, Security, Breach, and PJ Haywood, because we have an update. PJ Haywood, the voice actor for William Afton, Springtrap, and Michael Afton, left a comment on the subreddit saying the following. Much as I would like to encourage everyone's excitement, I feel it fair to remind folks that Scott is fully aware of you folks and your tendency to watch Voices.com like a hawk. As a consequence, reviews tend to be slightly delayed affairs, sometimes by many months. Also, I'm pretty sure some of you remember my voice has already appeared in a trailer, so I'd advise against getting all excited. So yeah, uh, PJ is true, right? He's correct in this scenario. We did hear his voice in the 2019 trailer for FNAF AR, where he said, it's real, it's happening, you know, all that stuff in the trailer. So it seems like maybe he won't be voicing any characters in Security Breach. Which is quite unfortunate, uh, cause we did get ourselves all hyped up, but it's what we do best. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like the reviews were just a bit delayed when it came to Scott and PJ uh, Haywood's reviews for each other when he did the job for the FNAF AR trailer all the way back in 2019. So that does suck, but we have another listing to talk about, this time for a battle chick. Courtney Faith Enchef, god I hope I pronounced that right, probably not though, has gotten the role for the battle chick. We're kind of split here. Either this could be Chica, you know, the chicken, or it could be, you know, like a bad butt woman, you know, kicking animatronic boote in Security Breach. Honestly, I'm down for either one. Or maybe it's Glamrock Chica kicking animatronic boote in Security Breach. It's really hard to tell because Scott is always tricky when it comes to his Voices.com listings as of lately, so it could be either one of those. Again, or maybe both. Now let's go back to Bulky Beefcake, which apparently a lot of people seem to think is a reference to Buff Helpy. I don't know, man. It seems like kind of a stretch. But Devin Laderdale, again, these names, I just can't pronounce anything. Lauderdale, I'm not sure, sorry Devin, has got the role for Bulky Beefcake. Again, what this is, no clue. It really could be anything. Again, Scott is so mysterious with these titles. And now, something that's interesting is that Michelle Moss has also applied for the Battle Chick role. Scott left a review on the 1st of February yesterday saying, Always a pleasure working with Michelle. Now, you may think, oh, it's just Ballora, but remember what I said, this is for the Battle Chick role. So, what could be a possibility here is that, again, Scott changed his mind, or 
Michelle or Courtney applied for the role and one of them was given a voice for a different character. A lot of people are saying Michelle Moss could be voice acting for Roxanne Wolf, which I have no clue. Again, this is very tricky trying to figure out what voice actor goes with what character. Again, especially with Scott's titles. Really, we, we're just gonna have to wait and see. All right, so I'm popping in quickly during editing. That's why the lights are on, because I want to talk about the possibility of some of these characters being voices for a security breach troll game. With a gameplay trailer coming in March, that is right around the corner from April Fool's Day, which we know Scott loves trolling the community. So some of the voice actors like Bulky Beefcake or you know Battle Chick could be for a Freddy in Space 3 game, which Scott has hinted towards in the past. He's talked about it with Darko, um, and Darko went on Twitter uh, replying to Kane Carter, which by the way, I get all my freaking news from. He's always linked down below, go check him out. Saying that currently he doesn't have any plans with Scott when it comes to a charity event, but maybe we could see something in December with MatPat and what I presume to be another St. Jude livestream. But if they have nothing planned right now, that makes me think that it's probably not Freddy in Space 3, so it's gonna be some other form of troll game. Again, if these voices are for a troll game. Let's be honest here, Bulky Beefcake, what character is that gonna be? Like, Battle Trick, again, I can take a few stabs at, but Beefcake, I don't know, man. It's just a huge mess. Scott always has things up his sleeves. So I want to end this video off again. I'll save the Fortnite crossover stuff and the Twisted Ones graphic novel review for later in the week. I want to end it off by giving my thoughts on FNAF AR because if you didn't know, the game's finally coming back this week. Illumix took a bit of a break in January. They released like three Blast from the Past events. They had the Arcade Mayhem skins, they had the Sizzling Summer skins, and then they are now wrapping up the Dark Circus uh, skins. And they put out a tweet saying, in just a bit, meaning Thursday, because, well, who knows, maybe they're changing their dates and they're releasing them on a different day of the week, but I, I hope not, because we're all used to Thursdays at this point. There'll be not one, but two new friends joining the fray. This is where our hopes come into play. But with everything in FNAF AR, we shouldn't get them too high, because all the time with this goddamn game, we're always like, oh, we're finally getting entered, Funtime Freddy, Lefty, you know, uh, Funtime Foxy, a anyone, really. We always get, like, Katrina Toy Chica or Ringmaster Foxy, which, don't, don't get me wrong, those are some pretty Park Champ skins, but they want new characters. In my personal opinion, I do think it's gonna be Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon if it is a brand new character. I wouldn't put it past the limits by just releasing more skins. It seems like they're gonna keep doing that, as they said in the interview. They also are releasing a brand new update in the next probably like month or two that apparently will reward players who collected all the skins or something along those lines. I don't know, it has something to do with all the skins, the reason why they pumped them out all all the time last year. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's a brand new skin, but I really hope it's a new character because there's been a bit. I mean, in terms of updates, it hasn't been a while because again, they took a whole month break, but that's what I mean. It's been a full month of them just chilling. And while I do hope they took their time to relax, they also did promise, promise a lot of good stuff this year. So kicking it off with Funtime Freddy, a fan favorite character, that's their best way. They're like, that is the best thing that they could probably do. I don't think it'll be two different characters, right? I don't think it'll be like Ennard and Lefty. I don't think it's gonna be Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy. I do think it'll be um, Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon because technically those are two different characters. But at the same time, again, Illumix is very careful with their warding. They said two new friends. Now, Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon, probably the closest closest of friends in the FNAF franchise, if you're excluding Mr. Hippo and Orville. But notice how they didn't say characters, right? Notice how they didn't say skins. They didn't even say animatronics. Uh, they just said friends. So, I mean, I hope it's something good. I, I would not be surprised if it's skins, but I do hope it's a brand new character. But we're just gonna have to wait and see for Thursday again. Usually that's the day that they release their updates, but at this point, who knows? Cause they've been gone for a month. I'm hoping for some good things uh, this year when it comes to FNAF AR. 
and it seems like they have a lot of very ambitious goals. So I, I really hope this year goes well for them. So that's it again. I'll talk about Fortnite and the graphic novel, all that stuff this week. Don't worry about it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.